Good afternoon students. In this class we are going to see about the food and wine harmony. Nothing but we are, we are pairing food and wine. We are pairing with the food and when you eating the food, what kind of wine goes with that? When we eat different types of, uh, we have a different course of food like you know we have a appetizers and uh, we have a soups, we have a main course, we have a desserts, we have slavery. Uh, every course has some uh, some unique taste in that that taste goes with the which wine we are going to see in this and the wine you can take uh, individually also you can also have with the food having with the wine so when you taking the wine how eat with it first of all after chewing completely food then you start taking the drink then the food exactly matches with the wine then you see the different taste they see the magic magic flavors in the mouth that's easy compels like example uh, you eat a very spicy food when you eat little bit then uh, the wine which is a little sweetness that balance in your mouth example you are very sweet uh, you eat very sweet desert and eat this very light medium uh, sweet wine then there's a very sweet and the medium sweet after the eating the desert when you take this medium uh, sweet wine that balance in your mouth so that's where you enjoy more so that's here in this class we are going to see. Before I start my class, uh, you should understand one thing. What is called body, body of the wine. The body of the wine is nothing but alcohol and also the acid, acid levels, the sugar and tannin. So basically you have a different type of body. Uh, you can call it as a medium body, full body. Uh, what is called full body example. Do you have a more alcohol in that? Do you have a more of acid levels? And sugar levels that's and uh, and tannins are very less in this uh, sorry should very low of acidity and more of tannin more of sugar and more of alcohol but acid levels are very low in full body that you need to understand where you have a uh, where you have a low bodied or a light bodied you can call as where in this the dry the acid levels are more the acid levels are more and the sugar levels are very low and tannin also very low so in given alcohol also will be a bit compared to the so what is the full body it basically goes with the uh, preferably goes with the red wines where red wines have a more of uh, sugars tannin levels in that and acids are very low compared to the white wines white wines is a more of acidic in nature and very of low of sugar levels that's what we uh, go through when we studied of the uh, different uh, varieties of wines we understand that and also one thing you should understand dry wine medium dry or sweet wine so what is that dry means it's like you know that it has a very low of uh, where this terms are used first thing where this goes with the this is exactly goes with the red wine and the white wine first of all the red uh, the dry in the sense they have a very of low sugar levels and more of dryness nothing but more of acidity you see in the uh, quality of the wine this is a one of the thing you should understand before i start my topic i repeat dry is nothing but more of acid levels the sugar levels are very low and tannins are very low so there it is very dry the sweet is nothing but where the sugar levels are more into that and acids and tannins are very low in that so this basically goes with the uh, white wines especially the white one these are the two term body and a dry uh, medium dry and the sweet you should understand this where the description been explained so this is one of the important thing you should understand the before I start with this okay so we have a when you're eating the food we have a different courses we have a appetizers we have a soups we have the main course In the main course again we have a red wine we have a white one uh, sorry red meat white meat and also we have vegetables and also uh, we have a deserts that's a basic uh, I repeat uh, we have a appetizers we have a soups okay we have a white uh, white meat and red meat and villa deserts so one common thing you should understand this is the white meat always go with the white wine please understand it's very very clear red meat always go with the red wine it's very clear and third thing sweet always go with the sweet ones sweet always go with the sweet ones why and also the soups always go with the dry uh, like sherry wine sherry or you can go fortified wines you can also call as a soups i repeat once again soups always go with the fortified wines okay white meat 
always go with the white wines red meat always go with the red wine preferably they keep changing why because the and uh, why because uh, point number one is the i said red meat but red meat can be with a different like salt will be there the sweetness will be there the spiciness will be there so you have a different taste and the different flavors in that that you have a matching the matching with the wine that always will change but basic i'm telling i'm telling about talking about the only the the basic what exactly goes with that that you should understand in this thing so this may majorly i told you i repeat once again this is very very important i'm going with the next uh, with the individually you should not be confused so i repeat soups always go with the dry fortified you know fortified wines nothing but the wine which is fortified like brandy been added which are more of alcohol soups because uh, soups always go with a dry fortified white meat always go with a white wine the red meat always go with a red wine and the deserts always go with the sweets that's a basic you should understand and second thing you should always understand what is called body and dry medium dry and the sweet i explain you body always uh, it's just like character of the body like character of the wine i'm going like alcohol acidity level sugar tannin which i'm going to explain about the body the dry it always a sweetness the sweetness levels will be dry means completely the palate will be completely into dry you don't feel of like you know it's a uh, completely so uh, dried up or you don't feel any enjoy flavors much into that you enjoy the flavors but you don't feel of the sweetness into that that acid levels are very very high in that and the sugar also very low tannin also you cannot go into that that's you need to understand in this okay now i should send you uh, now i'm going into into actually what I explain the about uh, according to our uh, syllabus we're going to in depth i'm going to explain about this one in this class now. okay uh, first thing i'm going to start with the so you should understand the food and wine harmony page number 314 you can open the book that's a uh, you can see what i'm going to explain you can also refer with that i repeat page number 314 okay appetizers appetizers always go with the dry uh, it's basically it's go with the white wine so appetizers always preferable preferable not compulsory name it's like preferably dry wolf dry white wine you always go with the dry white wine the full body it's what the book says is full dry white wine or rose wine so why it says like you know dry basically it's a, uh, appetizers are basically starter there's like you know starting to appetize your food so the depend upon the quality uh, depend upon type of the food as i told you the spiciness the salty levels or the sweetness in that the food or it might be salads it can be uh, it, it will be like just very light food which are going to give an appetizers so that's fair you need to give a, always remember the basic agenda for this is dry white wine so always go with the dry if the food is intensely with the something where uh, uh, more of a very rich and uh, very flavorful or very strong uh, uh, which have something uh, the spicy then you go with the full body there you're going to help the full body dry white wine the, uh, please understand this first appetizers always try to go with the dry white wine dry white wine why because a very light food we are going to give we are not going to we are going to the salads this is very dry very very little quantity and very light food we are not going to with very strong flavors or not going to add any full to into a non-veg kind of thing or preferably the salads so basically you know this there's a reason so a lot of acids so salads over a lot of acids so that's always go with the dry white when you understand acid level the dry also you also have very good acid. so you understand you understand both food as acid levels and this also acid levels so both will be matching exactly so that's where you should understand so that's the reason if you're more more flavorful you're more strong full you're giving the food then also then you can go with the full body dry white wine it goes exactly matches with that and also the choice will be your rose wine also choice will be your rose wine that's where you should understand this okay next thing i'm going with the soups what exactly goes with the soup should one thing you should understand soup is a liquid and also wine is also a liquid preferably though it does not match it so both if food is something is uh, which is in a solid state and the 
wine is in a liquid state both exactly compels but whereas in a soup both are in a liquid stage one thing you should understand so preferably most of people may not like with a dry uh, already it's you are taking liquid again now again on top of that you people may not much prefer but still some people want to go with a soup what you can suggest dry fortified wine dry fortified wine where the in this fortified the, you have a little bit of sweetness in this so after drinking the hot Uh, the soups uh, basically once you take the soup into mouth the spiciness or the things it will balance by the little bit sweetness will be cut off the flavors that will well balance with the sweetness so there's where the soups always go with the dry fortified wine so you you all know that fortified wines are always little sweeter because of we had some sugar and some brandy to that to the wine so that's as always sugar levels are there in the fortified like madira masala Port, sherry. These are some of the good examples you can go with always with the soups. So I'm going to continue on the next part. Thank you.